is we started as how usually bands get started. You get influenced when you're very young, you get influenced. Chance to see the first real shows. I remember the first shows I saw in Finland. Um, Deep Purple and Iron Maiden. And really, you know, you feel the energy and realize that, you know, this is something what I need to do and have to do and want to do. And I, I think that that's what every teenager goes through if they see a show. But some way there are a certain amount of people who it impacts even more. And I guess we are one of these. <laughs> these and, and but later on, you meet or you met, you know, other other friends and guys who share same interests. Then you start to form first bands and so on. Mm. That's that's how it started. I remember when I was in the first grade in a school, and I we had some kind of celebration at school, and I had to sing a song, like a solo, and uh, it was horrible, <laughs> it was really scary, but uh, it went really well and I got some really good feedback, of course from my mom. <laughs> and after several years I started to be interest, uh, interested in, in drums, and uh, when I was a teenager I started to practice uh, as a drummer. And, uh, then I just love the feeling when you are on stage and you can do what you are doing and uh, you can see the audience and stuff like that. It's a really powerful feeling and that's the reason I, I wanted to continue with that. Cool. How we work with the, with the music is basically that we first we come up with the songs um, some guys come up with uh, with song ideas to re rehearsing place or already finished songs what we do home and then we start to work as a band with the music and after the music is done um, Tommy starts to work with the vocal lines and and, and uh, with the lyrical arrangements so that's pretty much the how we do it um, sometimes the other musicians might have an ideas with the vocal lines and and so on but usually every every guy, you know, is pretty much responsible of, of what what he's doing, and, 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 and there is a sort of artistic freedom for all the guys. I got all kind of ideas all the time when I'm, for example, in the shower or <laughs> trying to get some sleep in a bed or traveling or driving a car, and uh, I always have my phone with me, so if I have some ideas, I can record it immediately, and that's really important. If I had some idea, you just had to get it, like how it is. And if you don't record it immediately, you, you will lost it. So it, it's good to have your phone with you <laughs> all the time. And sometimes I get some stupid riffs or some stupid uh, rhythms in my head and I just have to <laughs> shout them out to my phone and I have lots of interesting stuff <laughs> in my my phone. <laughs> um, we try to break the structure but it's quite... Th th that was the most obvious song structure way and, and we've noticed that pretty much we have a lot of songs which goes in, 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 in the basics that you have an intro, verses and chorus and so on. It, it's uh, I don't know why it shouldn't be like that, but it's it's become a, a common song structure. But it helps you for the airplane. airplane. <laughs> but still, um, I admire a lot of, of, of bands and, and musicians which dare to do something different as well with the song structure. You know, the, the, the greatest thing is that if, if you have a one great melody, one great idea, and you can repeat it 15 minutes without getting bored, I think then you succeed. But it's pretty hard. It's yeah, pretty hard. It, it wasn't in the beginning, it, it wasn't no. like that. No, <coughs> when, when, when we started the band, we didn't realize uh, or we didn't really thought about any song structure at That's all. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> And and some people think that, that some of the greatest songs <laughs> what we have we have actually done in, in the method that somebody thought brought a riff to rehearsing place, somebody had another riff and it 
just added them together. So you ended up a song which you might have like a, a nine or twelve parts, <laughs> <laughs> which is not repeated <laughs> even twice. That's so, pure genius. Yeah, and <laughs> some fans say that we are pretty progressive, so why not? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, I think the main reason is why metal music, especially why domestic metal bands are so big in Finland, is that the fact that uh, the, the basically the most of the bands which have got more attention abroad, outside of Finland, are metal bands. Uh, Nightwish, for example, is a great example of, of a metal band which have grown huge. Um, Him as well, which is a bit more popular, but but still. Uh, considered a small harder band. Um, I think you know Finnish people are very proud of of, of, of you know the fact that that uh, fin Finnish music in, in even if it's metal it, it succeeds abroad and, and and that that's one of the main reasons why if, if there's a Finnish metal band releases an album which also works abroad it usually charts very well and uh, it's nice, but it's weird. Uh, I think the whole thing exploded when Lordi won the Eurovision contest. You know, the, the even the grandmothers and, and the or kids. Prime ministers. <laughs> yeah, the prime minister started to listen. It was stupid. You saw Lordi with his monster outfit with the prime minister. The prime minister was horns up. Even you didn't know what it means. You know. Yeah, <laughs> totally, only in totally religious person like it. horns up. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, but the things things wasn't like that like 15 years ago. Mm. It was metal was really underground music in Finland those days, but nowadays it's yeah. more mainstream. I don't think so. Um, of course, of course it helps, and at least you know, uh, at least in Finland probably abroad as well. There are a lot of agencies and promoters which totally look about the sales and, and, and about uh, charts and make the decision from there how, how popular the band is. So if, if you make a good charting during the year of your releases, um, you have a good chance to get booked up, on, get good slots on, on, on the big festivals. Yeah, the festivals are really big, big yeah. thing in the music scene in Finland. Yeah. So if you have number one, you can be sure that mm. you will be playing next summer in a festival. Mm. But there's not that big, you know, meaning for charts in, in general. Like, you don't have that much. There used to be all the TV programs and, and radio programs and, and, and so on in, in, in charts, but not anymore. It's just a file in the internet. <laughs> With our band, we've never been. It, it, it's always the music what has come, what what's what's been the first priority. Um, but of course, you have to to. You don't have to think, but it's it's you know it's if you play in a metal band and live live like this, it's 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 a lifestyle and and, and it's the it's you choose to 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 live this way, <laughs> and and it's it's a different job from. from from any regular jobs, so perhaps you become look a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, <laughs> what can you say? Yeah, but I think that if you mean, yeah, if you think like visual things on the cover or something, of course they are important things, or the image on the backdrop, of course it has to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, nice or beautiful in some way, but when we are playing on stage, we don't have any costumes or mm. just like our jeans or mm. mm. t-shirts. We don't have mm. any mm -hmm. masks or stuff like that. Like so. Lordy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would be cool though. Yeah. Perhaps with next stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we went through, but mainly because of they were the only 
only places where where you got your band to, to play live. You know, they, it was really hard to to get any shows booked when we started. That was like end of yourself. end of eighties. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> end, yeah, end of eighties, early nineties. It it was really hard. You know, you, you get some shows on youth clubs, but you know, whatever you can get. If there was a band contest, you booked yourself there, and and. Yeah, but it really didn't help that much. Uh, it was just a show where you played for your friends <laughs> and for the other bands. So, you know. yeah, yeah, I think com this the competitions are really important because you you, you you have a you can get like really professional feedback from your from your music, and if you have played guitar like a year or something, you can get really good advices and stuff like that. So it's. It's a really good situation to get some advices. Like idols. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it doesn't matter if you then at the end if you win or not. It depends. <laughs> we didn't win anything, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe when you don't win you say yeah. it doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. If you win it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was a youth club. <laughs> uh, youth club, I think, end of 80s, something like this. Um, really scared about, you know, what's going to happen, but very excited about, you know. Uh, I remember the place, but, you know, about the feelings and so on, it was, it was an unbelievable feeling, you know. I think that's the the same thing what keeps us on touring at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the same feeling. Trying to get the same feeling. Yeah. My first gig was when I was in the seventh grade and it was some kind of party in my school. And I played drums and I was really nervous again, sweating like hell. <laughs> <laughs> and so how were the reactions of the audience? <sighs> Pathetic, I think. <laughs> Yeah, of course, uh, when you are playing in a school party, everyone seems to like it, but I don't know what's the real feeling in their heads when they heard our music. <laughs> but you don't care, first. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this, what success means is that, that uh, um, you make out your living with the music, and 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 when you do that, I think you succeed. Everything else is is plus. Um, you know, we've been t together 20 years, and pretty much seeing how <laughs> worse it can be and how good it can be. And so, you know, I really don't have any high hopes about you know growing this band to to any any in huge huge category but I'm very happy if this whole keeps on stable or goes further little by little as long as you know uh, we can make the living out from this and, 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 and the crew as well so it's uh, it's now it's 10 people working with us all the time including the band so so people have families and so on so it's quite important to, to make a living out of what you're doing So you say you, you you saw also the worst things. Mm. What what do you mean? Worst things. Um, you know, um, you do tours, which pretty much make no sense. I remember when we started, we 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 did a quite a lot of touring in the states, for example, and at that time, our deal with uh, with X label wasn't the best possible. So everything what we took was recoupable from our very minimum percentage, so it, it was it was rough. Um, in, it, it was great fun to tour, of course, but when you got back home, you realize that you are taking empty bottles to to local market to get cigarettes or whatever. Um, and and it took quite quite a lot of time, you know, when things started to solve out. Uh, got signed with a new label. Um, Things started to move like in a normal way. So.
so but they were a lot of rough years you know for the band and but luckily if 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 it goes down it could go up <laughs> i think it's it's there is of course one reason that we are much more realistic these days um in in for the certain aspects we are quite cynic about you know <laughs> about the promises and so on so um this band has been a good school and and for now on i think you know there's uh, there's a lot of things what what you can know beforehand things what you can avoid um offers if, if people say that it's you should do that you you should not do that you know you have to think for yourself what's good for yourself and and, and if there are other options anything for the tours for the deals whatsoever there are always options you know that's something i think what people should remember it's not the last option what somebody is giving you <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.